Hi, Mark is here from Four Pods. We haven't done one of these videos in quite a while, but I think it's important for us to get to the support issues and try and get everybody on the same page on, so that everybody understands what we are all about. All right, so when you buy the software from Macro uh, or Incredible Connection or Take A Lot or any one of those companies, or even from a dealer for that matter, you are entitled to get a 30-day support uh, from us. Uh, this is for us as four pods as a company. The, that basically means that we will help you with the installation part of it, the configuration of your system. Uh, it means that we will be able to make sure that your four pods runs on your PC, whether that's Windows XP, Windows 7, 8, 9, 10. Sorry, there's no 9, I always get it wrong. For some reason, they skipped 9. I don't know why. Um, maybe I'll make it 11 or something in the future. So that's what you get, okay? It doesn't mean we do networks for you. It doesn't mean that we install it on your second machine, your third machine, your back office machine, uh, and we set up your network and help you with your wireless connections, etc., etc. That doesn't imply or is implied at all on the software. That's a plain, simple installation, configuring you, your system for you. If you're going to be using one of the preset databases, help you with the loading of the database, help you with the registration part, and we're done. Typically 15 minutes on the internet over TeamViewer and you're up and running. You should be able then to carry on creating your products. As we say in some of the four-pass touch videos and so on, is that if you can't get it up and running within an hour, you're doing something wrong. So that's how simple and easy it should be. All right, so the four-pass DVD comes with all the videos, manuals, uh, links to the knowledge base on our website and so on. And in there, 99.9%, .9%, I think is a fair assumption, to say all questions there is handled. In other words, anything you might want to know about the system is handled in there. Um, it's on the four post training folder on your DVD. Please go through it and yes, you'll tell us that some of the videos are not as loud or not as uh, good quality possibly on the videos um, as you would expect. And some of them are, and most of them are done like this one, informal. It's not the intention is to go and pay some actor give him a script and tell him to sit in front of a camera and, and get it done. That's definitely not the idea. The idea is business people talking to business people. This is what we are and this is what we're about. So all the tools are there for you to be able to install the software, get it up and running without any hassle. All right. Then we've got a, a bunch of dealers, uh, people, professionals that has been around with 4 pos for quite some time. They've been in the industry most likely for many, many years, some of them 20 years, some of them 40 years even. Been in the industry, know the point of sale businesses, they know bottle stores, they know liquor stores, they know supermarkets, spares, tires, uh, arts and crafts, all sorts of things. These people know what they're doing. They are professionals. They might not have all the answers for you. They might not know exactly how you want to get it done in your business and it might mean that you will have to explain it to them nicely how you want to run your business uh, within the software. The software is quite widely used, 18,000 plus 10,000 illegals out there, um, which means that it applies to most businesses. It doesn't mean that it has all the functionality that you ever thought of. There might be some issues that you say, I would like to have this item or this report or something. Some of the items we can add on for you, some of them we will quote you for and say, for you to be able to have this function, it will cost X amount of money. And you might decide then and say, well, is it something I can live without? Or yes, I'll be wait for the next update or something when it becomes available in four pause as well. That's again your choice. Coming back to the dealers, please do not phone us or email us and tell us that you've now dealt with dealer number ABC. And dealer ABC, you've paid him extra thousands of rands and he didn't do the job that you expected him to do. I suggest that you go back to the basics. Basics means, sir, what are you quoting me for? Four hours of your time, irrespective of what you use while well, gets done. If that four hours is used up, sir, you have paid for the time. You have received your four hours. Do not complain about it. Okay, I do not go to my doctor and complain about the fact that the medicine that he gave me for my flu or cough or whatever didn't work and then get free service. I pay for it again. I ask him to give me something else, something that might work better. So be fair. Then, as well with the dealers, um, you know, we often get this thing about people saying, yeah, but uh, do the job first and then we'll pay you. 
or a dealer goes out and does some work for a customer um, and then the, the, the customer says, well, I won't pay you for it. Well, none of us will go and help you then, okay? We have a, a gentleman's agreement between all the dealers that nobody will touch the customer if the customer has not paid the technician or the dealer for that matter, okay? And that's just plain common sense, okay? You're not going to get away with it. We are not going to allow customers not to pay us if the work has been done. If there's something wrong with the work that was done, we will assist from our side, the dealer, the agent, to try and resolve the issue. But we're not going to replace computers for free, set up networks for free, etc., etc. So be fair. If you've got a service, if you receive the service from a, from a technician or an agent or a dealer, pay for the service. Then I want to just tell you a quick story now for um, the people that do not really understand how the service industry works. Uh, it seems to be like quite a problem with that. Many years ago, I had a, a my BMW, is a, uh, the battery ran flat. So I phoned my mechanic and said, uh, what I do, do I bring it to you? Can you come and fit the battery and so on? And he said, no man, just go and buy one and put it in. So when I put the battery in, it didn't seem like the right battery for the job. It wasn't the same brand, it wasn't a BMW battery. And the poles didn't fit, you know, the little wires that goes on top of it. So I then decided, well, maybe a hammer will fix it. And I did. So I put the poles on and I murdered with a hammer and promise you it fit. Okay. And when the sunroof opened up and closed, I thought, okay, it's all fine. And then the uh, wipers came on, I thought, I'm still okay. But when the smoke came out of the engine, I realized I had big trouble. Long story short, it cost me a new computer box for my BMW. Can I go and blame BMW now because I'm an idiot? No, I can't. Can I go and say BMW is a bad car because I do not know how to fit the battery in a BMW? No, I can't. So let's be fair. Okay, we don't know what you have done. If some of our customers will struggle for a day or a week or a month uh, to do an install or upgrade, whatever the case may be. Then they want to find us and tell us about this little black screen that they've got or this little message that came up somewhere along the line and so on. And then they've gone and read it this and read it that. And can't we just quickly tell them over the phone? No, we can't. Okay? We are good, but we're not that good. We are not magicians. Okay? You will pay us for our time or you will go and try it again and again until you're happy with it. If you go to any other company, software company, whether that's Pastel Software, um, and Pastel, you can send me my loyalty or my royalty checks afterwards to mention your name, but you can go to Pastel or any other company. First question is, what is your support contract number? And if you don't have a number, you just won't get support. So we have the same philosophy. We would like to, we would like to give you help you with advice, but we're not here to sit over the telephone and sort your problem out over the phone. Not fair. Okay? We are also professional. We also deserve an income. We are also running our own businesses. And our business is not making sure that your business runs. Our software is there to run your business. Pay for the service that you require and need from time to time to pay it. Some of you might decide that you don't need a support contract. You'll gladly pay the support fee when and if required. That's also fine. We don't blame you for it. We don't insist on it. We are happy to help you, but we do insist on being paid for our time beforehand. Not do the job and then we'll pay you. No. We've written off 200,000 and two years ago for work that was done to customers that was never paid for. And yes, I understand you're not that customer. Yes, we all agree. You're a much better customer. But again, like your business has rules, ours has too. Please pay us into our bank account, send us the emails proof of payments, the team viewer details, and we'll gladly log in and sort out whatever the issue is. Not a problem for us. That is what we do. Um, and then on that point again, please, uh, you know, these some of our customers are very fancy. They, they phone us and they say, hello, is that so-and-so? And we say, yes. And they say, oh, just hold on. And now you've got to hold on while they go and find somebody. Do not know who they're going to find, but this other person. This other person then comes on the line, and of course he's a computer technician, or she is a computer technician. And they will then tell us, give us the whole background of what they've done, and again, expect of us to help them and tell them over the phone how to fix the problem. No, nope. sorry, can't be done. Pay us, and we'll do it for you. All right. Um, I'm reading off my notes in case you wondered why I'm looking down. I'm not looking at my shoes because they're really ugly. Okay. Um, all right. So what we are offering is software. Number one, we are giving free upgrades 
does not include free support. After your 30 days and after the installation has been done, that's it. You pay for other support that you might need. Again, you must go and try and work it out in terms of how much turnover are you going to do through the system, on the system, versus how much money is the support going to cost you. And if you get to a percentage higher than 1%, we'll do it for free. Because seriously, you know, 800 Rand for a team viewer login session where we fix whatever the issues is that most likely you have created by doing uninstalls, reinstalls, new PCs, new networks, new whatever, not fair? I think it is. All right. So think of a support contract as insurance. In other words, it is there to make sure that you are uh, can run your business. In other words, you focus on your business. Your business is not computer support. Your soft business is not installing software and setting up networks and making sure that the network configurations and stuff is fine. Your business is something else. So you focus on that and pay us to do what we are good at because that's the part we do well. Okay, We don't do cars, we don't do tires, we do computer support and we specifically do for possible. So at the end of the day what I'm trying to say to you is please be fair uh, and let help us to help you so that we can all do business better. Thanks for your time.